Barbecue Talk, Barbershop Talk, Man Cave Conversation. However you like it or dislike it, this is the Heavyweight Champion of Sports Talk Podcast. Your boys are back in the building. Myself, B-Way. To my left, I have everybody's favorite Puerto Rican, uh, Mr. Jack Lucin Ruiz. Hashtag five toes down. Uh, what was the last one? It wasn't, wasn't meant to be. Was it once? It wasn't really meant to be disrespectful or anything. It was It was something. Nah, you know. Bring, bring the energy, B, when you, when you come at me, man. My fault, my fault. Yeah, like, I, I, I get it. I, just a little subdued this week, man. Yeah, I usually get more energy out of you. Well, you know, it's been a long week, man. It's been a Has long it? week, yes. Okay, well, you know, let's kick it up a notch, man. Also, we have... Well, I, sh- I should introduce my nephews. You gonna cut me off, man? Ah, I, I just might. Go ahead, man. I just might. Go ahead, you know, joining, joining us this week are my, my two nephews, Sean and Campbell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, so, you know, I, I, I have them on here because I, I, I respect their sports opinion and we're down a host and I figured why not? So we're, we're, we're going to yeah, see how nervous, nervous or not nervous they get this week and, and you know, say, wave, wave hi to the camera, camera and, and, you know, you know we're going to talk about some topics that you guys are going to have opinions on and hopefully it goes well. That's your introduction? That was, that was there, was no, there was no energy there. There was no energy? About me? You want me to jump up and down? Yeah, I need you to like give him a half. Like I don't know something. Jumping I, jacks. Go ahead. You do better. You do better. <laughs> welcome, fellas. Welcome. We're glad. We're glad to have you. Uh, like Jack said, we're missing a we're missing a co-host. He's out, you know, living his best life in Mexico. Oh, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. Uh, too late now. <laughs> he's my fault. Might as well give his his location. And... He's living. He's living his best life. He's on vacation. Uh, uh, shout out to 717 Sports, shout out to uh, TCP Entertainment, shout out to uh, Lancaster Community Television Network, shout out to the White Rose Community Television Network. You can find us on all those platforms as well, but let's get right to it. It's a weird week in sports, man. What do you think about, like, how can we have Tim Tebow getting signed after nine years off, as well as... J. Cole getting signed up to play professional basketball at age two, 36 or two whatever. Very, it is. Two very different things going on there. I just want to know what I mean. If you f- I mean, the Tim Tebow is Tim Tebow. If white privilege was a person, it's Tim Tebow. <laughs> He's gotten to live his life as a make a wish kid. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like a, a great college quarterback, maybe one of the best. <laughs> I was co- going to say, like, don't take that from no, me. No, 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 no. That, that's, that's where, like, okay, college great. Heisman winner, national title, great team. They should do a 30 for 30 on that Florida team. Because you, know, you had Aaron wrong Hernandez wrong. running around. You had Riley Cooper running around. You had uh, the Pouncey Twins. I bet there's some great stories there. Okay. He gets to the NFL with a first-round pick. Should have never been a first-round pick. It's like, But I get it. Okay. So he had a great college career. But there's a lot of great college quarterbacks that didn't make it to the NFL. Like, you know, like – were He's the, arguably had one of the best careers ever in college. Yeah, but it didn't mean he had to play in the NFL like, at quarterback. But that's neither here nor there. Okay. So you make it to the NFL. You They, they build an uh, offense around you. You Somehow, some way, you, you found a way to beat the Steelers in the playoffs. But then the truth is told about you that you're not a pro quarterback. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. You you yeah. you do you start doing TV. You, you, you're pretty good at it. Oh, I want to play baseball now. That's taking up somebody's spot. Some some a, a, a real baseball player didn't make that roster or minor league, the minor leagues because Tim Tebow wanted to make make his like a make a wish kid. Like he he's earned the, it. How did he earn it? What did he earn? First of all, what do you mean? He was like we just said he's one of the best quarterbacks ever in quarter. College. Yeah, what's that got to do with baseball? He didn't play college baseball. Oh, baseball. Well, baseball. He he, 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 he was pretty good in high school. A lot of people were. <laughs> I'm just saying. But okay, he, he's, he's shucking and jiving in the minor league system for however many years, and that didn't work out. I don't think he made it past Double A. Could be wrong. Don't care enough to Google it. <laughs> he, he like I, I want to say he made it to Double A ball. 
fine. Go back to doing college um, college game day because you're pretty good at that. Um, Urban Meyer gets hired as a Jacksonville Jaguars head coach. Let's be a tight end at 34 years old. We never played tight end. It's good to know. It's good. It's, it's good to know people. Exactly, white privilege, and that's fine. But we, we got to call it that, and we're not going to act surprised, and we're not going to bring up Kaepernick's name every time. Uh, a, this service or whatever you want to call it is done towards it's just white privilege at this point and you know i'm not gonna call it anything but that it's it's tim tebow he like i said make a wish kid and maybe he'll play in he'll play in that league that jake hole's playing in in a couple of years <laughs> and well, we're gonna act surprised when he's 40 years old on the pga tour or something listen jake hole is totally different like you just like we said before J. Cole never really played anything outside of high school basketball. Did it? Well, he, he walked on. He walked on. Uh, um, he tried to walk on at St. John's. I don't think he um, actually. He was on the team. He went to St. John's to walk on for basketball. Okay. And started to follow his 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 hoop dreams. I mean, started to follow his hip hop dreams. Which is tough to do, and he made it. And then, no shade to J. Cole. He's probably one of the best rappers out. My, yeah. he's. My one right now well, in, well, in this new era. It, it's it would be a total different conversation if Red was here because he he's like that. He's a J Cole number one fan. Yeah, yeah. He's Jermaine, one of those guys. You know, he he he's, he goes in and that, that's fine because we all have our our rapper that we uh, stand over and that's but it's just totally different. I, I I totally agree with J Cole. The album's amazing. I feel like it's a part of his album rollout. I don't think he's gonna be for. He's gonna do the whole season in Rwanda. He won't make it. He's thirty six years old. About to play professional basketball against a bunch of twenty. I think we're putting a couple of years on J Cole. I think he's our age. I think he's a year or two younger than us. But he's that, a, he's our age. I got a clip to show everybody. Him, him doing threes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that. See his age. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nice. I could shoot better than him. All right, well. As long as you stand behind that. I'm one, about day, saying. one day, one day, we we'll might find out. And that's fine. J. Oh, J. Cole. One day, one day, two, two day. I shoot better, uh, better than him two day. It's not one, it's not one day. Okay. okay. And the MDJ, yeah. like him? Say less. Say less. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you, uh, you, uh, what you do with somebody in the face? Exactly. exactly. That's, that's the thing. thing. Everybody can do it in open gym. gym. I, mean, I, I don't want to say shade. No, I'm just saying it's just tough you, basketball. You, you threw shade at him because you compared him to Mr. Make a Wish. So it's it's fine. No, it's I just fun. said it was a weird week. I feel in like sports. it's an album rollout. Like we put out the documentary, which I don't even know why why you want to call it. That's a twelve minute clip. It was inspiring, and it, it was what it was, but I don't, it, was a, it wasn't a documentary, unless there's more parts that are coming that I don't know about. But 12-minute clip, he got in what he had to say. 39-minute album, which I'm, like, I I don't like the new age with these 30-minute albums. It, it, like, it's great, and it, it it's a great piece of work, but you know, it, it, when it leaves you wanting for more, I guess that's a part of being great, you know, but 39 minutes, it's like, damn, like, you you, you mess around, you, you listen to the whole album, and, and you didn't even mean to do it. But that's neither here nor there. But Tim Tebow, J. Cole, I don't really compare the same. And I don't I don't think he's doing it with the, with the idea of making it to the NBA from Rwanda or wherever he's at in Africa. No, that's a, like the I think it's called the MBDL or something like that. But the NBA is backing it. There's a lot of money that, 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 the, that the NBA is throwing into this league. They want it to be a big league. So – it's weird that you remember, 36 years old. I don't think it's weird. You remember that movie, The Air Up There? Oh, my oh God. What? We're moving on to the next topic, man. No, man. I'm just trying <laughs> to say The Air topic, Up There. Man. So if it, it, 
Huh? No, no, no. I didn't say it was real life. But if him going to Rwanda and putting a spotlight there makes it for the next guy to come out of that area easier, like they put money into that area. So J. Cole's using his fame, his platform to shine a light on that league that we wouldn't know about if it wasn't for him. There's a million of these leagues around the world. Russia, Russia. Europe, like wherever. Like there's, there's yeah, Russia, Japan. Like there's a million of them. You, we don't hear a big one like they want this okay to be the, the, the the next thing exactly so if we use j cole's platform and his name behind it and the next person benefits from it and makes it to the league mr air up there somebody <laughs> why wouldn't why is j cole the guy to do that because why not this because is day and he's age a rapper and never played basketball before at, at that level i don't know i listen to friday night lights i think he can play ball <laughs> I, listen it, it makes me sound bad like i'm knocking j cole I'm not knocking him. Just, just don't compare him to Tim Tebow. Hey, that's guys, fine. That's but, fine. Have I'm you, not comparing him to Tim Tebow. I just said it's a weird week. Those are two weird yeah. things that happened. It was. I'm not putting Tim Tebow in the same boat as my man, uh, J. Cole, who is one of the best rappers. I'm, I'm in my top seven ever. Ever? Maybe eight. Uh, no. Well, somebody would say one, but he's not here. Yeah. But I, I get it. I, no, I didn't come prepared to debate top tens, but he's up there. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say and top ten. At, at, at his 10. age, the fact that he's getting better is, you know, doesn't Definitely happen. Definitely top ten rapper of all time. Yeah. I'm not telling you to stick to that. I'm just telling you, like, it's crazy that you got signed to one of the best basketball leagues in the country. I mean, in, 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 in the world with no experience. That's all. Tim, uh, not Tim Tebow. The other Tim, Duncan. Made some interesting uh, the, comments the about. Uh, you see his speech last night? I did not. I did not. I caught. I caught the Popovich part. I didn't. I didn't catch the whole, the whole speech. Tim's a different dude, man. Well, I mean, I, how old is Tim? Is it Tim Duncan now? He's in his. He's in his for, or early forties. Probably. You know, he's decided. You know, his hairstyle is what it is. We'd have never thought that was <laughs> going to be. Guy. That was going to be him. He's going to be a head coach somewhere eventually. Um, that's what he wants to be, unless he's just doing the coaching thing for now. Maybe, maybe he'll take over for Popovich one day. Or the who's the the, the woman on the staff? Uh, Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond. She's going to be a great coach one day too. So, I mean, what what he said about Steph Curry? Yeah, he said that Steph Curry is the best guard in the NBA, which I agree with. But I remember last week you guys were coming at him for no reason. Uh, is is, is, is uh, Tim Duncan right about Steph Curry? I don't really have an opinion on it. Like uh, Curry, Curry's revolutionized the game in a good and a bad way. So there, it, it, it's it's whatever you like. But right now, it's hard to argue. Like you know, he's putting up otherworldly numbers right now. He, like that that's good for him, and he's putting the hours upon hours upon hours on his craft to be able to pull up from half court. You know, but uh, the kids in the AAU circuit, you know, that want to <laughs> play the same way, if they don't put in the hours and don't have the skill set, he comes from the heritage of, you know, of it. So it's it's a good and a bad thing. Like, to say he's the best, his resume is what it, what it is. Like, three-time champion. Uh, Two-time MVP. Yeah, you net for only unanimous MVP. Uh, there's no arguing against it. It's just what you like. And, like, I don't. Kyrie's probably the closest thing at guard that I could put next to him that's been in big moments and big and came up and big on Curry and did his thing. But there's really no – I'm not here to shoot down Tim Duncan saying what he said. You know, he's a, he's a Hall of Fame player, Hall of Fame – you know, who knows he's going to be as a coach. And I'm not, I'm not here to say he's right or wrong. Uh, Tim Duncan's 45. Okay. Uh, With the PM Dawn – PM Dawn hairstyle. Hey, most 45 year olds wish they had hair like that. Reminiscing about something. <laughs> but, yeah. What, so, what yeah. about, uh, do you think, well, I mean, who, who else is there? Like, you, you, well, you, you know, Kyrie. He, uh, but you saying present day, or is he, did he say all time? He said present day. And okay, yeah, like present that. day, there's really no other I, that I'm willing to die on that hill for that is doing at guard, doing their thing like that. I mean, like so put James Harden in there. Yeah, he is he is what he is. Like he's a great scorer, and I yeah, I, I I personally don't like to watch James Harden play basketball, but that's just my opinion. It's a lot better on the Nets than it was for the Whoa, Rockets because he can't he can't you know drain uh, run the clock down to 
two seconds and just hoist up a three. It works, and like it, I don't know if it's going to work in the playoffs, but that, that's something we can talk about as we go forward in the episode. But there's only one ball. And James Harden, the Kyrie's, they dominate the ball. Steph is mo- not a catch and shoot, but he doesn't need the ball in his hands at all times. The way Golden State runs the offense, he has the ball in his hands. He's coming off screens. He's doing whatever, but it's it's it's, it's a more it's an easier basketball to watch than what Harden does or any other guard off the top of my head. Like I don't, it's just not. There's really no no comparison. Like I don't know what Steph's final numbers are going to look like obviously but he's well on his way to get in that top 10 argument just overall let alone guard well if they were still good he'll win a, probably win another MVP this year they're not bad I'm just saying if they were if they were the top of the west he would probably win another MVP this year uh, which would be his third so it would be crazy uh, I just don't know I just don't know if he's cause he got I want to see Steph play better in, in bigger games I'm a Steph fan He's probably my best player to watch outside of Kobe. I like Zion now, too. Zion's a bad boy. Well, but, my, my favorite player to watch is obviously Embiid. Well, you got a sixer bias. But I don't know. It's just a watching basketball bias. He can be, the stuff he's doing. It's at not his, a watching basketball. Nobody says Embiid. You guys got Embiid in, in, a, in, a, in a great place to watch. You guys want to watch Embiid? No, I want to watch LeBron. <laughs> Nobody says Embiid when you think of a guy that you want to watch play basketball. Okay. Two LeBron guys. Well, that, that's, what, that, guy. that's what they are. That, I know. I knew that coming into it. Right? <laughs> yeah. As we get to the LeBron topic, it's fine. But Embiid or Wat- Watson Simmons do what he does on defense. But that's just me, not just as a Sixers fan, just as a basketball fan. I enjoy watching them play. Do you think you're biased because you watch more Sixers games than anybody else? I mean, like, not you watch it's the not, Sixers it, I, more than you watch anybody else. I wouldn't call it a bias. It's just like it's just sometimes you luck out and your favorite players end up playing for your team. Like, I I got that with Iverson growing up. I got that with McNabb growing up. I just got lucky in my <laughs> no, favorite people not, to watch. It's, it's no, no, it's no, because I could be in the middle of Ohio and be a Bengals fan, but my favorite quarterback is Donovan McNabb growing up, and I, that that would be my guy. I don't think that's true. You weren't – you, you like Donovan because you saw Donovan. No. Boy, nobody can sit there and watch Donovan and say he was my favorite NFL quarterback at that time. Okay. He was throwing bounce passes all day. Oh, you're, you're that guy. He was throwing guy. bounce passes to his team. Fo- I mean, you, focus, you focus on the negative. <laughs> if he had, if he would have came through and won at least one Super Bowl, he'd be in the Hall of Fame by now. So that's not average. I love the Eagles. He's a Hall of Fame worthy. If Kurt Warner's in the Hall of Fame, it, like, it, like that, that's a whole thing. But that's a team accomplishment. Oh, my God. We don't put – okay. McNabb was a bad – Starting quarterback. No, his numbers don't say that. His, I think Jim Kelly is only through less interceptions than him. Like that, that wins games. You not putting your team in a bad position wins games. He he he, he played in five NFC title games. Granted, he only won one, but is that that's a team thing? He left that field in Arizona with the lead, right? In his last NFC title, did, did he blow the lead? Like no. Would you take McNabb over Vic at that time? Yes. Why? Because I don't just <laughs> care do about that? highlights. Oh, my God. What was Vic winning? He, and granted, he's the only guy he beat in the NFC title game. So there Vic, goes your argument. Vic went to jail for two years. <laughs> what is that? At the came game? back. Okay. And took Donovan McNabb's job. It sounds like a great Lifetime movie. <laughs> that doesn't make me want to watch you as a quarterback. And, and Vic will tell you himself that he was half-assed out there. He wasn't do, reading his, like, doing, his, doing his work behind the scenes. And he was still better than McNabb. Better. Because he has a better athlete? No, because he was better. He threw the ball better. Okay. He ran the ball better. Okay. We had we had a broke man's like Michael Vick. Wow. No, he sat in the pocket and he he, he played quarterback out there. And you know what I think is funny? Nobody said anything about Cunningham though. Well, um, Cunningham is my favorite Eagle of all time. He's he's he, he's the reason I'm an Eagles fan. I caught the end of Cunningham's career. I was there like my like I didn't really watch a lot of football growing up until I was like nine, ten, and I caught that was the end of the Cunningham era, and you know it, maybe that maybe that's what it is. I caught Rodney Pete, Bobby Hoyne, Coy Detmer, Bob, um, a lot of horrible quarterbacks. So when when McNabb came in and I knew because I watched some games at Syracuse, it was like he had an aura. That was me. Fine. I'll take we'll Brett Favre we'll that time over him. I don't even like Brett. Wow. Give me Brett. Come on over, Brett, with your Wrangler jeans. Pause. 
I, I was, it's not a plausible moment. It is. Because you know what he was doing in the Wrangler jeans. No, send, that's send, a plausible moment. Sending questionable text No, messages. that's a plausible moment. Maybe, I know what he's talking I said in this Wrangler jeans, talking about the commercial, you start talking about what he's doing inside the Wrangler jeans. you hate school? Well, I used to hate school shopping, dude. You know why? My parents would try to get me Wranglers, and I couldn't fit them. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> you should have worn the Wrangler jeans. No, no, no. I couldn't know that it was okay until you went to go try them on. They act like it was you didn't just one, but they were cheap. They're like, no, they don't fit. They're not made for people like me. Were they, were they but I, I was a big, I was a bigger guy back then. I don't think I could fit Wranglers now. You were the first guy like to wear slim jeans, like slim cut things that these first people guy? wear. First guy, first guy, is that? Yeah. Uh, to honor, you said that, but I don't think that's true. You shouldn't feel honored. It's a bad era. I keep telling all my students, this, this is, is a bad, bad era for clothes. Okay, Steve Harvey. What's wrong with that? Steve could dress. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> Steve was a good I guy. wear clothes that fits. I don't think I'm wearing, like, like my, I could put stuff in my pockets. I'm good. Hey, you got thigh-high jean shorts on right now. They're not thigh-high. They're at the knees. They're thigh We well, can see your knees. That means they're above. <sighs> not coming at you. Kind of are. You got like, my nephews laughing at me. They disagree. I don't think. It's I, a bad era for clothes is all I'm saying. Right? Like, what's wrong with it? No, that high, high is like up here. No, that no, this is your thigh. No, talking to the mic when you talk to me. <laughs> this is your thigh right here. Okay. Alright. Jeez, I'm just I'm just okay, man. Okay. And I was feeling good about this outfit today. You should. Anything nah, you put as as you as you come at me. Okay. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. I'm the old guy in the club right now. Oh, man. <laughs> if you're in the club with that, you look like a creeper. <laughs> Well, they're not letting me in the club with, with short time. <laughs> yeah, they ain't letting you in your dude. It's because of the color of your complexion. Man. <laughs> Damn. We had, we, had, we had to say the names. Oh, Ooh, man. That be... <laughs> I mean, your girl's ruined the birthday for me, but that's neither here nor there. It's funny how the rap music stops playing on the jukebox when people start playing, you know. That's fine and dandy, but that's neither uh, here nor man. there. They're going to get mad at us. Wing, over wings it. are decent. They're going to get mad over at Lancaster County Television Network for that one. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Shout out to uh, all, the, all the guys that won in the Hall of Fame last night. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of hearing Jordan talk about uh, Kobe again, but he didn't have to. So I thought Kobe's wife, Vanessa, did a phenomenal job. Uh, shout out to her. Do you think – well, who do you think is the best player that won in last night? I mean, I'm, I'm biased on this one. But do you think Kobe's the best guy that won in last night? I mean, when you put their re- when you put their resume side by side, it's hard. Like Tim Duncan, he's a big fundamental. Big it, fundamental. It's not discounting Kobe. And as the years went on, I appreciated Kobe for what he is and was. Like I had my opinions about Kobe, very that you very that you know. And you know, he he passed away. He's not here, and it, it, that moment was taken away from him and from us to be like. There's there's two guys that I wanted to see make their speech. Like from my childhood. I got to see Iverson, and I didn't get to see Kobe. And it's what Kobe became, well, in his later years and as he retired with the, like, he won an Oscar. Like, like, (laughs) he won an Oscar for his short film about basketball. And he he gave us great programming with the details uh, series, which has moved on to other sports, but that, that came from Kobe. And his mind... It's just a great mind, and, you know, he's going to be missed. And it's still surreal that he's not with us. And, you know, yesterday, you know, my allergies acted up when Vanessa was giving her speech. And it was a tough one to watch. She more than held her own, and it was it was a great speech. And she shouldn't have had to make it, make it but she held her own, and she, she did it. And She's strong. Very, very. And it's just – it it's it, it sucked. And But to, to say who – Who's the best in the class? I mean, Kobe, Kobe and Duncan would be would be for me, and it's not really like if you say Kobe and I say Duncan, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue. That's the one thing I'm, I'm not really for debating about who's better and who's. But the, Tim Duncan's resume, how many decades did he win a championship in? What three? Ninety. Yeah, I mean, so like he over the long haul, Tim Duncan. Yeah, but I don't know. Ne- think- next year's class looks like it's, they, I think they announced next year's class today. I, I hate Paul Pierce. I hate him. I hate what did him. Paul Pierce do to you? Who doesn't? Thank, no, speak into it. Thank you. Who doesn't? Who doesn't hate Paul Pierce? This isn't something that I talked on. 
<laughs> this, this is coming from them. This is their own, and they're they're younger. So he talks nonsense. He talks out of his neck. See, so he talked about he talked about po- Paul Pierce post oh, basketball, probably. Well, that that makes it worse. Yeah. They they didn't have to experience. The truth was the truth. Whatever. Maybe if he didn't try passing that beard off as that beard, I wouldn't have hated him as much. <laughs> but it's just – and him being a Celtic, and he had his moments against the Sixers, whatever. But – your bias again. I, I just – he's one of those guys that benefits from being a part of a championship team. I don't think without that championship, Paul Pierce is a Hall of Famer. He was the only reason, like, they were relevant for all them years before they got the big three. No, no, before that. Be- yeah. Before KG and uh, Ray Allen came. I would say Antoine Walker was more of Oh, a, my God. Okay. Yeah, in, in hindsight being 2020, I think a lot more teams focus on Antoine Walker than they did Paul Pierce. This His is, fall off was way – like, was came a lot quicker than – because they're, they're around the same age. Paul Pierce and LeBron were going at it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke? <laughs> that, I took it as a joke, man. I, like, joke. I, remember, I remember LeBron dropping 40 and 50 on him. I don't remember Paul Pierce replying with that much. He was on teams that won. He was on better teams. But it wasn't Paul Pierce going shot for shot with LeBron. It was. That's not say- they had battles. Battles would mean that. <sighs> okay. Okay. I just wish Benzino would have finished the job that day. <laughs> wow. That's just me. Yeah. And my, my nephews don't know nothing about that, so I'm not going to reiterate what, oh I, what I meant God. when I said that. But if Paul Pierce would have finished that job or the made men, remember that group, if they would have finished their job that night, we, we wouldn't be talking about a, a Hall of Famer. Like he's at that, that, that Tracy McGrady level Hall of Fame. Barely. Yeah, so he's not an icon. He's not calling him the truth. Is like, uh, it makes me itch. It's so disrespectful. It's like seeing man. large crowds nowadays for me. It makes me itch. <laughs> so Paul Pierce is what he is. His numbers match in. Like, I, like, I'm surprised Ben Wallace made it in, or or is in the fi- one of the finalists to make it in. We should. Guys like him don't make it in. Like his like, journey, his path. Well, that just means the White Howard's going to be in there he's one day. Not even trying to get more, is he? Huh. No, no, he's he's up for Hall of, Hall of Fame consideration. So four-time Defensive Player of the Year, championship. Yes, yeah, so one more. But no, no, I'm just saying that Dwight Howard, when he retires, he got the same kind of resume. Where well, he'll Hall have a title from this year. No, he won't have a title from last year. Playing real tight. Well, whatever. I forgot he played at the Lakers. Yeah, so he has a title, but uh, Dwight Howard deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Like it's not a it's not a charity event. But he's on that Ben Wallace type of. Or he'd be, like if they had branches in the Hall of Fame, he'd be in the Ben Wallace branch. <laughs> yeah, Dennis Rodman branch. The Hall of Fame is the the Hall of Fame is the Hall of Fame. <laughs> no, go ahead. You figure it out. <laughs> the Hall of Fame is the Hall of Fame. No, there's levels. There's levels. There's no levels, man. There's icons. There's guys that played long enough that their numbers match up, and there's like the the guys that get in. It's like going it. to the Rock Nation party. Like, once you're in the party, like, nah, you're in. Man. It don't matter. It's like like if Mitch Richmond walked in here, would you, would you say Hall of Famer Mitch Richmond? Yes. <laughs> he wouldn't even remember he was in the Hall of Fame. Dude. But if he was, I'm going to give him we know that, But we know that because we're like sports guys, and we know like Mitch Richmond don't belong in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> so that's just me. He got yeah. his title sitting on the end of the bench for the Lakers. Like Maybe that's your bias. But Mitch Richmond wasn't a Hall of Fame player. I didn't even know Mitch Richmond played for the Lakers. That's the point. This is, he got the same ring that um, J.R. Ryder got. So dis- I think Ben Wallace deserves to be in over like somebody like uh, Carmelo. <laughs> when Carmelo finishes playing, he's going to be top 10 scorer all time. Yeah. Ben Wallace is a two-time champion. But, okay. Four-time all-defensive player of the year. Okay. We can hang our hat on that now. But, okay, <laughs> next, next, next topic, man. Shout out to everybody that made those. I think this is one of the best Hall of Fame classes, too. Well, this, this year, you got, I mean, like I said, Weber, Reggie Miller, Paul Pierce, uh, <laughs> Ben Wallace. Um, yeah, this this was a good class. The uh, Rudy T. Uh, who's the Tennessee coach that passed away? Uh, damn. I can't think of her name. Uh, Pat Summit. Pat Summit. Yeah. Uh, everybody was disrespecting Tamika Catchings, man. She was a great. She was great. Okay. Yeah, that's back when I watched the WNBA. But. You still, still watch WMA. Shout out to WMA. Your season just started this past weekend. This past week, actually. Shout out to the WMA. How many WMA games you watched this weekend? I had a, I had a big weekend. Like oh. it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a lot going on this weekend. I, I couldn't know. really. I know. Okay. I, even if you probably wouldn't have been watching them. I might go home and watch them some today. That sounds like a horrible day. 
<laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> Shout out to the WNBA, man. We love y'all. We support y'all. Uh, anything you need, reach out to Opinionated Facts. <laughs> We're here for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll talk to all y'all just so you know. And I believe in equal pay, so pay my girls, man. Pay the girls. But uh, anything else from last night that stuck out to you? Oh, not really. So disrespectful. What do you mean? We talked about Kobe and Duncan. Like, I don't – who – was there any other players that got in besides them too? Yeah, KG. My bad. That, that, I'm, I'm, that bothers me that they act like KG is like a Boston Celtic through and through. He's a Timberwolf, man. Like, I don't want to hear that. No, when I think KG, he, I he think – Minnesota, Minnesota last night. Nah, but it's like every video I see, every clip I see, you only think he played for Boston. Why do you care about losing just, teams? Like, of course, when you win, because he made the bulk of out. the bulk of his career was with the with the his prime years was with Minnesota. And he'll tell you he stayed in Minnesota too long. That's I don't care. They they paid. I'm just saying when I see it, they 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 try to act like he's a Celtic through and through. That's it. You say he is a Boston Celtic. Yeah. Shout out to KG for going. I think K. I like KG more than Tim Duncan. I ain't gonna say he's better. That 2008, like you would it. think that that 2018 won like three, four titles together. The way they milk it. <laughs> Why are you disrespecting the Boston? Because I hate, because so I well, I hate the Celtics. I hate Paul Pierce. I don't hate Garnett, but it's just you they to, they won one championship together. You should go to therapy for your like Philadelphia sports bias. No, nah, I'm just consistent. Well, some say consistent, some say bias. You know, it is what it is. when we when we don't jump on bandwagons, we know who your team hates. Before moving on, wait. What? Jump on bandwagon? No, I said move on. I didn't say no. did that. Did shoe fit? I heard the bandwagon. Did the shoe I was fit? about to move on. Like I was taking steps moving forward, and then you, you hit me with the bandwagon, almost knocked me over. Like, hey man, I've been a. I've been I'll a help little. you out. But then I'll <laughs> give you that fake that fake hand to help you out. But. Who bandwagon I jump on? You're the one talking about jumping ship on the Eagles this year. Gonna be a Colts fan. Yeah, I said it. Mm. Yeah, hold on. How dare you, How dare you say nah, you're nah. a Colts fan? And the te- and, and, and our group chat, you, you say you're a Colts fan, right? I said it. Saying and doing are two no, different things. No, no, no. You said you were a Colts fan, right? Campbell, you want to talk about our group chat? Let's talk about the disrespect you handed out in the group chat. The disrespect you handed out. Did I have I ever come at you like that? <laughs> you, you, you said I can relate to a short quarterback, so I said you can relate to a handicapped quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, and that's fine. That's all I can. All I can. I, I can just LOL that. Uh, I love it. You, you were you, you were quick with that one, <laughs> but you, know, you like the taller size quarterbacks. That's on you. Listen, man. Bottom line is. Uh, but I don't feel like I'm hopping on a bandwagon if I go to the Colts. What are look, the Colts? Look, I, I rather I rather like. Russell Wilson then have a handicap crush on once that's going for a home run every play. I respect, I respect it. I respect and, and then it. and then he doesn't get rid of the ball. Oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. And he averages a fumble like every game. Jeez. Maybe more than one. Okay. I, so I'm not gonna I, argue. I, I, I'd rather like, like Russell we... Wilson or Jalen Hurts rather than liking. But I feel like he just. Once. I feel like he just like Hurts because he's the Eagles quarterback, and that's fine. But there's like no numbers and to you back it up. Just like once because he was the Eagles. <laughs> exactly. And McNabb. And, it, and it, like, Listen. how do you like somebody that's making the team lose? I'm not because he gave me a Super Bowl. Wait, I got to watch a parade wait, because wait, of that man. Wait, how did Carson get a Super Bowl? The Eagles had home field advantage that year because of Carson Wentz. He didn't no, play playoff game. Everything's full. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. no. Thirteen, wins, 13 wins. Thirteen wins were because of what? Well, no, what was it? He left with eleven. They got home field because of Carson Wentz. And then maybe I'm wrong. And, like, I don't know what's going to happen that first Sunday in September when I have to sit down in the Eagles and the Colts room. Oh, my God. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I'm, I'm going to let y'all know when it happens. When the Eagles and the Colts are on at the same time, I don't know who I'm going to watch. Call me fake. Call me whatever you want to call me. But I don't think I'm jumping on a bandwagon. Because jumping on the Wentz wagon. That's what you're jumping I've been on. been on the Wentz wagon. Continuing our theme in, in, in a weird week of sports, are <laughs> uh, you looking forward to the Kawhi Leonard album? album? I didn't know about this until the the docket was sent out. So I like I don't want to know. I thought maybe when you mentioned it that it was like a famous person putting on people from his hometown, and you call it a Kawhi Leonard album, but it's it's really like such and such from back home. But if it's Kawhi rapping, I want no parts of that. Why not? But well, no, I. Everything's different. 
Yeah. Do we have snippets like of his song? <laughs> no, I just put the, the cover album. But I've been having trouble sleeping lately. The cover album, man. It looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. I've been having <laughs> trouble sleeping lately, so if melatonin in audio form comes through, I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm all for it. If I can listen to it and it puts me to sleep, I'm all for it. So I don't really know. Is New Balance behind this? <laughs> I don't know. I just know he's putting out an album, man, and it's supposed to be entertaining. I don't know. Do you think Kawhi can rap? Like, if you were looking at him as a guessing man, do you think the six, I mean, seven my call? Man's, my man still wears braids, so it's like, yeah, I'm not putting anything past him. That is true. Why? I'm not, and if it ever reaches his ears, I, I, I mean, no disrespect. I'm not just, I'm not scared of him. I'm more scared of his uncle. <laughs> like, it's, I hear behind the scenes, his uncle really is the one that runs it, and you know, so no disrespect, Kawhi, no disrespect to your uncle, but let, let's win a title with the Clippers first before we start branching off, man. So you're you not can't win a title when you have Paul George on your team. Hey, I agree. I agree. Pl- pandemic P. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, he's playoff poop. He's not that. <laughs> I kind of like Paul George. I mean, a little weird outside of his, his like, a, he got some things going on in his personal life where he did some things with Doc Rivers' daughter. This has all been downhill since that Gatorade commercial. And it's like, eh. Where he, where, he, where he hits the game winner and he just takes that person's Gatorade. Oh, yeah. It hasn't been the same. You got to do that in real life to have commercials like that. Yeah, well, PG-13 has a great nickname. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's all I can say about him. Yeah. I don't like personal Paul George, but I like Paul George on the basketball court. I respect his game. It's not like a Paul Pierce type hate. I just don't – when I think uh, superstar, I didn't never thought Paul, Paul, um, Paul George. I thought Big Fish, Small Pond, Indiana, they had some nice teams. They always got shot down by LeBron, but it wasn't like, I want to watch Paul George play basketball. But if, he is, if he gets a title this year, he's kind of comparable to a Paul Pierce. They're kind of like the same I type don't know of, about his numbers and all that per se, but I, don't, I definitely don't think Hall of Fame. He's going to have to go on a run. I don't think Hall of Famer when I think Paul George. Yeah, I think probably Catfish. Not. Say catfish? Yeah. <laughs> Google Google Paul George, man. He has some funny uh Googleable moments that are that we won't talk about. But I think he married a stripper, didn't he? That he got catfished by somebody and it was funny to read, but it, it, it is what it is. Well, shout out to Kawhi, man. I'm a I'm a download your album. Check it out. I'm not I'm, even I'm not even gonna listen to your album, Kawhi. You said Paul George? Kawhi. Is, I thought you said shout out Paul George. No, shout out to Kawhi Leonard. I'm gonna download yeah. his album. No. I, I feel hope, I hope you lose in the first round. If I can watch J. Cole play basketball at 36, I can watch Kawhi. But we're Leonard not gonna watch J. Cole play basketball at 36. There's no. Where's that gonna be on? You got. You must. You must got some great cable. Great cable package. If you're watching that. I got every channel. Hey. Every channel on the man. Wealth. No, it's not wealth at all. But, uh, if so, if if J. Cole's team is playing, you're not gonna watch. No, I value my time. <laughs> You're just going to turn him off? Hey, look, listen, man. He's like, one of the look, best rappers ever. Yeah, I listened to his album. It's like Master P back in the day. You didn't watch the Master P game? He never made it to the league. But I don't, watch, I don't watch preseason basketball. If he was on the tube, you no. would No, well, maybe I didn't value my time back then like I do now. I'd rather watch a good so show on, on Netflix or something than watch games that mean nothing to me. I'm just saying. I would, I would love to see J. Cole do his thing on the basketball court. I'll catch highlights. I'm not catching a game. They think they probably play with different rules over there. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't sound disrespectful. Are they like playing outside? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. That's so disrespectful, man. Why are you disrespectful? It's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper to play outside. It's Why are you disrespecting Africa? Though? Yeah, that's so disrespectful. disrespectful who? Africa. It's the motherland, but I'm just saying, I'm like, making a race thing, man. If you want to go there, we can go there. You know, Puerto Ricans don't like black people anyway. Damn, but where did our <laughs> friendship start, babe? Where did our friendship start? We, we follow on stereotypes. It was a jokey joke. Pow, jokey pow. joke, we're doing it for content. Content, I get it. there I you get go, it. content. I get it. If it was a Mexican <laughs> thing, Mexicans and black people don't get along. They don't know why. I don't know why. But they, they, they jumped on the train. Nobody likes I'm just people. thinking, like, Africa, I don't think that they have, like, just, like, a... Why a, do you think they don't have arenas in Africa, Jack? That's stereotypes. Stereotypes. We just went through four years of Trump. What did Trump call them countries, man? No, Africa, Africa's huge. What did Trump call them? <laughs> I can't say big... that. We PG-13, but Trump called them that. 
That is a lot of country. No, 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 no. I get it. Akon is over there providing electricity for you, for them, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. like they get a bad rap. Like, a lot of people don't think that a lot of Africa has running water. <laughs> yeah. I'm not one of them. You think of the children that need help commercials are like Africa folks. That's who they show. No, there's, there's developed countries over there that are with, with big with Sarah, with Sarah McLaughlin playing in the background. Is that what you're talking <laughs> about? They don't even play those commercials anymore. Yeah. They got, should do that because people got the stimulus money. I'm about to Google some pictures of Africa. You should go to Africa, man. You, you should go to the motherland. Like so you, not, you Nas from Belly now? No, I'm just saying you should the way you think about it. I don't think that way, but I don't think. You just asked if J. Cole professional basketball team is playing outside. With the zebras and everything in the background. Is that <laughs> is that wrong? Yes. That's not wrong. On the shirt floor. <laughs> nah, nah, they no. They they have they have a nice court and everything, but outside the optics would look beautiful. Yeah, you're so with, disrespectful. With the desert man. In the, I didn't I was I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Well you you are. And shout out to everybody in Africa that has running water that can watch us right now on their Facebook page. I don't think that, that's like else. that's like saying they're not watching us. That's like saying like hey, people in Nigeria don't scam. They don't. Not everybody. Good number. Just because they call you and say they're from Nigeria. Who ran the biggest scam on the Eagles, man? Who? Fucking Namdi. Nigerian. Huh. There's, a, there's, a con, there's, a, there's a coincidence there. Listen, man. I'm all over the place. Going, going back to the Eagles, man. I don't know if it was on the docket or not, but the schedule coming out. What hold on, you? hold on. Before we leave basketball. Okay. And, 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 and my whole weirdness week in sports. Tebow, Cole. Did you even know who Donis Haslam still played for the no, Heat? No. <laughs> like, I didn't know he, he looked so a- old and washed up. I would have felt so disrespected if I was Dwight Howard, man. <laughs> like, How could you be? I didn't even know he was still in the league, number one. How did no, no, you still collect the check? Go ahead. Well, you didn't see it? What? Oh. Into the mic, into the mic. He tried. Adam Hazard tried to press Dwight Howard. <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't try. He did. <laughs> he, he put his hand. He put his hand in Dwight Howard's face, and he got ejected. But he's been a coach. And then you like the Sixers after things like that happen, like after Joel Embiid gets bullied, bullied by Cat, and Ben Simmons has to help Joel Embiid. Oh, oh. <laughs> he put him in a headlock. And then, and then, yeah, and Joel Embiid was about to get beat up by Cat. How? If he was in a headlock, why Ben? He was losing. <laughs> <laughs> he was losing at that point. Up old stuff, and, and 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 now you now you like how old is you, Donald Tesla? He's an old head. He got to be pushing forty five. He's, he's got to. to. But that's that's the only game he was active for. So they, I think they were trying to do something where maybe they would get in and beat Ted or do something because they played that like it was a playoff game, the Heat. So if we run into the Heat in the playoffs, I can't wait for it. All right. So for those who haven't watched this, we're about to play the clip. Korkmaz was back in action, sat out the last couple of games. Nice move by first bucket. And a foul is called on on Haslam. And now Haslam's having words with Dwight Howard. I'm loving this right now. Uh Oh, Oh, here we go. Haslam pointing the finger may have made contact. He talked about his toughness before, Reggie. There is a sur- sense of urgency to this game for both teams. In the second round. See, first of all, he Howard throws him to the ground here on this uh, as he, he got tangled up for a, a rebound. And now here's the words between Haslam. And there's the point. May have been contact. Yeah. Yep. He's Tossed. gone. They, they ejected him. Like, is it? So it's it, his fault that he fell. <laughs> old man, old man Haslam, is trying, you know, thought he was getting boxed out for the real. Or he's trying to box out. The, I don't know what was going on there. He fell. That's Dwight Howard's fault. No, that there's, was, there's like nothing besides just whatever the whatever the Heat are trying to do. You know, they made it to the finals last year. People think they're going to be a threat in the playoffs. I don't see it. So they want to play bully ball. That's fine. But we'll see what happens in the playoffs when it really matters. This is a game that the Sixers were trying to win because they were trying to clinch number one, the number one seed, which they did the next game. You know, and that matters. Let's try to, it, it doesn't matter when the Sixers clinch the number one seed, but it matters when other teams do. But that's either here nor there. But it, it's irrelevant. And Udonis Haslam, maybe that, that's his final hurrah. That's, he had a great career. I think he was undrafted, if I, if I remember. <laughs> I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Played on great championship teams with, in Florida. I don't know how I, off top how many. I know he won one. Maybe he won two. 
with Noah and Mike Miller and Teddy Dupay. Like, I, those were great teams. Who's on that team? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That, Haslam had a, you know, great run, but am I scared of you? He's 40. They look a lot older, man. He look like you've been through some things. Yeah. But, uh. Haircuts are supposed to make you look younger, man. Look, I don't know what's going on. I just know that he just bullied your boy. Yeah, uh, Dwight Howard's my boy by, um, just because he's on the Sixers, man. <laughs> so, he looked know, good I'm for not. Lakers last year, though, I'm saying. I don't know what he's doing out there now, coming out east. Shout out to Dwight Howard, though. Getting thrown around by. Your six is biased. Last year when Dwight Howard was on the Lakers, so he's trash. He can't do I nothing. Never, now, I never no, said now, he's now, trash. now when he's on the Sixers, I'm the only he, one he, that's arguing. He's on the here. goat. He's the goat. He's the goat. Who said that? He's the best backup center in the league. Best player. That, that, I don't remember your... saying that. All I said <laughs> is that he's a Hall of Famer, and I've said that, argued that for a while now. I get laughed at. I used to get laughed at before for that. Does he ever won MVP? And yeah, I think. Who did Dwight Howard win MVP? I'm not. The sure. year they went to the finals, who won that MVP? Who won to the finals? When Orlando, Orlando? Got, yeah, I, thought. I, don't, I don't think he was MVP. He's won Defensive Player of the Years, and like I don't know. I think maybe Derrick Rose won it that year. I could be or Dwight or uh, Nowitzki. But he's a Hall of Famer, and I don't feel like my opinion on him has changed since he came to the Sixers. But y'all can say what y'all want to say. You got any more handicap jokes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now go to your uh, your NFL uh, spill. Well, no, it's not a spill, B. It's just the NFL knows how to um, uh, sell things. Like, it's a, it's crazy that the NFL will have, like, a whole three-hour primetime block just devoted to their schedule rollout. And people go crazy over it. NFL's a big money business. It is. It is. And, you know, the schedule came out. It's a 17-game season now with no extra bye week, which kind of sucks. But if these players don't care, if they don't, if they don't care about it, why should I? But it's another extra game for us, one less preseason game. Um, I'm thinking four or five wins for the Eagles. What? Into the mic. What? Uh, who? And how many wins for the Colts? How many wins for them? <laughs> I didn't break down the Colts schedule. No, no. How many wins for them? I'm still an Eagles fan. I only broke down the Eagles schedule. That's just me. So wait, wait. What? Who are you? Exactly. Who are you cheering for? I'm a realist. I'm not. I'm not cheering for. Nobody's made me care yet. Devontae Smith getting drafted to the Eagles woke up that inner Eagle fan in me where I'm like, we got a number one. We got a legitimate number one receiver. So it's still there. But all the other stuff going on. So it's kind of like. What's the other stuff? The TMZ covers our team more than ESPN does. That well, that's the other stuff. That's uh, that's more for our our, our 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 front office issues. It gets old, and I feel like some people have jobs that shouldn't have jobs, and you can't judge like on paper when you look at this draft that the Eagles just had. It's a decent draft. But you can't judge it till like three years down the road. Howie Roseman gets to keep his job for three more years. When uh, I want to say either sixteen or seventeen. None of those players are on that team anymore. That's horrible. It's, that's only three, four years later. How is that? Exactly. So as a fan, when you see somebody that's not qualified to be running your team, it's because you call him a salary cap guru. He just kicks the can down the road every year. Like, he gets people to renegotiate, gets people to turn their salary into bonuses. Every team does that. And if you sign good contracts, you shouldn't have to do that. So we praise Howie for being a salary cap guy when he's barely that. He's not a football guy. Well, there's um, art and a and a, a good grace type thing to be able to maneuver the salary cap the way he does it. Keep kicking the can, like you said. But everybody there's does art it. to that. But there's other teams that aren't put in that position. And like, let's speak about the Colts. They're in a beautiful salary cap space because they don't. Did you say Colts again? I did. Here we go. I did. I'm gonna wear my Colts hat next bandwagon. week. Bandwagon. They didn't win anything. Band, no, definition band, of bandwagon. Which one's bandwagon. Okay. What's the age where you can't change teams anymore? There's no age. There's it's no just age. you become disgruntled and you'd be like, you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm not fully there yet. I told you that that first Sunday is going to be the test. And why the Colts? Like, Carson Wentz is not that good. That's your opinion. What is he going to change about the Colts? They have a great defense from last year that they brought back everybody. They have three good running backs. I feel like if he just manages the game, I feel like they're – well, now he's not. They're, they're an 11, 12 win team. With Philip Rivers wins. doing. 
Well, 17 games now, yeah. 11, uh, it's 11 12 instead of 10 11. That's your opinion. And we're we're going to see what happens. So why do you think the Colts are going to be better than the Eagles? Because they, man, they made the playoffs last year with old man Phillip Rivers. Like, I feel like Carson, like, for whatever you can say about Carson Wentz, I still feel he's in that top tier of quarterbacks. He was in a horrible situation. Because he was in a horrible situation last year. And then, what did he? What did he do to make the situation better? What did he do? What can you do if you're running? Because he with hurt, uh, hurts. Just because hurts is out there running for his life, don't make like he did anything he better. They won one game out of five. He got he replaced one four, by a right? rookie. He went one and four. He went one and four. And I wish they would have lost that game because they would have been in a better position to draft. So you don't think the team looks better with hurts? It's, I, I'm not judging. It he hurts. fixed his system better. It's a new system. He fits a new system. Like you don't know, you don't know what the new system is. Who do you think is better? Like, when did the team look better? You got eyes. I mean, it was hard to judge that team last year. It was a, 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 a litany of injuries. Like, it's – Who looked better? So, yes, so, so one yeah, or two – You want to talk about that Sunday night in San Francisco? Wentz looked better. Oh um, what, what did what did Hurts do Everybody that has, has you guys – Everybody has one good game of the season. Everybody does. Everybody does. Okay. I'm just. I feel like he's closer to the MVP guy that would have won MVP in 2017 than he is to this bum that you guys make him out to be. He's That's a bum right now. now. You got to hurt the bum. No, no, no. Wentz, Wentz. Uh, since, since the injury, he hasn't been the same. He carried. He carried him to the playoffs with a bunch of guys. I think you guys could have played. Right, the and I, I, don't, I don't even. I don't even know if we would have won a chip if we had Carson Wentz. He had to start. Oh, uh, that's that's revision. That you guys are no. That year, Wentz was playing quarterback better than anybody. That's a fact. That's not an opinion. He got hurt. Not after he got hurt. Well, no, I can't judge Nick it. Nick Foles was playing like the MVP. Nick Foles managed, then he played good in the Super. He played great in the Super Bowl. But Wentz, when he went down against the, next the Rams. Year, the next year, Wentz gets injured no, no, again. Because they rushed him back ne- because Foles wasn't Nick playing Foles good. Nick Foles comes back and is doing the same thing. Your loyalty to this guy it's crazy. should not be that loyal because he's not the guy that got you to take Did we have like got a you, therapy got, got session the about how I feel about Wentz? Yes. Like you I don't think it's that far off. It's just it, There's never been a situation like this. When, uh, McNabb got shipped out past his prime. So if if McNabb would have got shipped out year five, guess what team I would have liked? Whatever team he was on, that's just me. If he if he would have gone to the, I don't know, I, I don't think I'd be a Redskins fan. But if whatever team he would have got traded to, if that would have happened in his fifth year quarterback, I wouldn't be an Eagles fan. Though. That's just me. So you're saying if he got traded to the Cowboys, you would be? Eh, then there, there's limitations to it. No, no, so like, no, 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 no. No, I just said because he went to the Redskins, so I, I I walked it back. So if the Cowboys or the Right. Or if, if anybody in the division would have been, if he would have got traded to the Bengals or wherever, I would have become a Bengals fan, for better or for worse. Woo. You might have to put a pin in it. I'm loyal to a fault, man. Yeah, I for know. no reason, though. But you, going back to it, you, you guys you guys went over the schedule, right? Yeah. So what are you, what are you thinking on top? With no bias, just... I don't know that, all of that going to lose to the Chiefs and Bucks. I know that. But those are two losses. We should we should win the division. Yeah, we should be able to win the division. Is that we, saying a lot? Who Who's the... Like, is they gonna be good this season? I think the Cowboys are gonna be good. The, uh, everybody, the Cowboys are supposed to be good every year. Yeah. Well, I'm That's just true. saying they 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 went and drafted. Have a, you seen their wide receivers? In their yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> what happened? That got hurt. No, They're, no. Look at all the wide receivers, and then oh, they make it to the playoffs. The Redskins did. You're I right. mean, and they had Andy Dalton, who's a decent. He's a <laughs> no. decent. No, okay, no. No, he's no, you're getting carried away now. Andy like, a decent he's, quarterback. A, he's not bad. He's not. He's, he's not decent. But he he wasn't asked to man his games. But that he, team, he, he had to go playoffs. out there and win games. He so can make Dak it to the playoffs just, with a good team. Andy Dalton's gonna be start. Well, he might be starting. He's this not. Year. If he beats Justin Fields out, it's just for the optics. Like I, Fields should be the starting quarterback by week. We whatever. don't know that. You're just saying. No, I'm just saying my opinion. Yeah. Like I feel like if he's the quarterback, it's just there. He Matt Nagy is a. From the Chiefs and Pat Mahomes' rookie year, he didn't play the whole first year. Alex Smith took, had the job, and that's fine. I don't feel some rookies aren't meant to play their first year. Justin Fields might be one of them, but so you guys, you guys are thinking it's it's, it's a division winning year. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not like the divisions anything who, like, crazy. Who else beside the Bucks and Chiefs are like 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 the like destroy us? I wouldn't say destroy, but I mean you got the Raiders, you got the whole. Um, the the Broncos are gonna be better. Uh, Broncos. 
Yeah, your, your team, your team, your team just won four games, man. Who can you say who the Broncos? Hold on, hold on. You you were just claiming the Eagles as your favorite team, and I was saying your team. Yeah, I'm talking to you. No, no. So <laughs> who's your favorite team? I'll tell no, you. Answer that. The question. I'll no, answer question. I'll tell you that no. first week in September. Answer neither team, question. neither team makes me care right now. The Eagles made me care last because they drafted, they draft, they made the easy choice. I thought Howie was gonna find a way to mess that up. They drafted the guy they were supposed to when and um Devonte um Devonte Smith. Yeah. So until further, I'm an Eagles fan. And but that first Sunday in, in September, I don't know. Who's our first game? Uh, Eagles first game is uh I don't even know. No, they're playing Atlanta. First game is Atlanta. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a loss. Yeah, the That's a loss. I mean if Kyle Pitts if Kyle Pitts goes off then that's a loss. Man. Pitts, Julio, Ridley. Julio, yeah. Kyle Pitts PA boy. Is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That that year, I was just thinking, because um, they had a Welcome to the NFL rookie um, show with Parsons. Yeah, and they, Parsons in the state they title. played in the state title game. Kyle Pitts' team played against mm-hmm. Harrisburg. Mm-hmm. They had Parsons. That's crazy. Yep. But we got to get out of here, man. It's been it's been longer than uh, my schedule time to, to uh, be around you for the day. So. <laughs> we, got <schedule. laughs> we got schedule time. I, I, I get it. I get it. Man, uh Try to take a shot. Oh, you got shot. You go shot out. Shout out to everybody. Nice, 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 nice and simple. Nice and smooth. Except for Carson Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your nephews for coming through. You, you ain't gonna say shout them out. Shout out to y'all, man. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to y'all. 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 Yeah, no. you, you never know. You might shout out a coach. Get you, get you more no, I don't time. like my coaches. Well, don't say that on the. Don't say that on the. <laughs> you could be. We're not gonna say what team, man. We're not gonna say what team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna say that. Jeez, I'll take team it over. That I don't want to be on. I'll take it over. Hey, back to me. Uh, so, <laughs> shout out to the seven. Right, that's my uh, shout, shout out to the seven letter family as always. Uh, shout out to the whole seven one seven sports family. Shout out to the whole TCP Entertainment family. Uh, yeah, shout out to Red doing his thing, man. You know, hopefully you're back next week with a little tan and everything else. And we're good, I think, right? Social media. Yeah, make sure you follow us on Opinionated Facts podcast page. Opinionated, uh, OP Facts Boys. I forget our Twitter. I think it's OP Facts Boys on Twitter. Opinionated Facts on Instagram, 717 Sports on Instagram. 717 Sports Media on Facebook. Make sure you follow all those pages. Uh... Oh, yes, we'll be on the White Rose Community Television Network on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, We'll be on the Lancaster Community Television Network. I'm not sure of those times yet, but I will keep you guys posted. Make sure you pay attention to the social media pages, and we will do that as well. Um, I think that's everything, man. I think we're good to go. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think that's it. Uh, make sure you guys stay laid up, stay prayed up, stay out the way, and listen to what some old folks have to say. See you guys next week. Get out of there, Carson Wentz. We don't want you no more. Right Way Home Care is a non-medical home care agency. Uh, we specialize in personal care, uh, light housekeeping. You know, we do uh, medication pickup, groceries. a mother-in-law that's disabled and that motivated me to see uh, to go in her house and see what was going on and um, different caregivers coming in and out just motivated me to use my degree to start a business such as what she received. So I've um, been doing healthcare since 2007. Um, I go into nursing homes, I do skill care.